Hey guys, it's Fish. I'm back with another episode of Ark Survival Evolved Single Player. And I'm just out doing some farming for Phase 2, which was my little breeding... Well, not breeding. Uh, egg production section of my base. It was going to be that bridge that I was talking about in the last video. Um, and I thought I would just come in with a little bit of a... A little bit of a, a, a tip that for you people who are not as high level as some people who can actually ride uh, these guys. So these are... Uh, uh, the the giant beavers. God, I'm having a terrible day today. But anyway, uh, the giant beavers, you don't have to ride them to actually sort of manipulate the fact that they will go and collect wood. And I think my gamma's too high because it's just changed over. So I'll just quickly change that if I can type. Yep, that's better. Not quite as bright. You just put them on follow. Have them enabled for wandering uh, because they have to be enabled for wandering to actually autonomously collect. And they do this stupid thing where they'll go in the water and they'll just do massive circles over and over and over again. And it's, it's, it's kind of annoying. So you just have them follow you, have them enabled on wandering, turn it off. And of course, now I'm a liar. Okay, stop. Why don't you come up to these trees over here? So you bring them up so they're just, just in front of these trees, you turn them off, and they'll, they'll smash some wood. I've had quite a bit of success with that. Because they, they're, not, they're not very good at finding trees. So when they do find that tree, they're good. And let's just have a look. Yeah, look at all that wood. And that's just from doing this island. So it, it's, it's absolutely amazing uh, the kind of gains that you can get. So I'll just turn him around. Bring him here. Come on, move a little. Move a little. He's not going to like that tree otherwise. Now you'll bite it. Yep, see, and there we go. Oh, no, I stopped him. He was actually, he actually did what he was supposed to do. And the farming that you can get from these guys is insane. Uh, I can't wait till I can ride it, because I can just imagine... Okay, and we just turn him off, and we just bring him to the next tree. And you don't really need to leave him off. Now, I have bad news as well. Uh, we'll just have a quick look. So, have a look at this, right? We've got, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven thousand wood taking up 70 inventory space, so he can essentially hold, you know, 3,000, or almost 4,000 wood. That is insane. That is a lot. But, um, what I was saying was, i got some bad news. I've got, we lost Chipper 2. So we've got Chipper here. Chipper's good. Uh, Chipper 2 was the lower level one that we got. I think it was level 4 or 5 when we got it. Uh, so I put them on to autonomously collect wood before I knew about this little trick that I'm using. It's not really a trick, but uh, uh, hopefully it's a good little tip for you guys because if you're having troubles like me where you can't ride it yet because you're not level 55, I'm close. Level 49. We're going to make it, guys. Uh, we lost Chipper 2, so I put them on autonomous follow. And these guys, when they attack trees, you'll find the dinos sort of stuck on those trees uh, will... Uh, get attacked when they clear the tree out. And so then they attack these guys. Yeah, that's all well and good. So I was, I was hanging around with Michelle and uh, we attacked a trike accidentally. And I went in and I killed the trike. All well and good. Uh, the, chip, uh, the, the beavers are actually really, really good at attacking things. I've seen them take out trikes that are a lot higher than them. A lot of people are complaining about them because they're about, they hit about as hard as a spino does. Um, and in some cases, harder. So I'm, I'm really excited to actually send them out. That, and, that, and that'd be why they collect so much wood. But anyway, so I attacked this trike and that Bronto's tail, the Bronto was having problems with in the last video where he was, his tail was swinging through my stuff. Um, I accidentally clipped him as well. It turns out Chipper was on passive, but Chipper 2 wasn't. And Chipper 2's gone running off. He's like, oh, I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. And I thought, oh, and he's very, very low level. So he's right in at the feet of this Bronto, just like hammering away, hammering away, hammering away. And I'm like, oh no, I better get in there. I take my trike in. But unfortunately, I wasn't able to kill the Bronto before it killed Chipper 2. Fortunately, Chipper gave us four pelt. When after he, or Chipper 2 gave us four pelt after she died. So that was, uh, it was unfortunate, but we at least gained something from that. But we still have Chipper, the original Chipper. Um, and that's all well and good. It looks so funny. I like him. Uh, but anyway, that's that's what I got for that. I'll continue to farm, and hopefully I'll be able to do a quick little build. Um, I might even speed it up and put like some crazy music on it or something uh, for the for the actual build of the egg production area. All right, guys, uh, I'll keep farming, and I'll bring you back when I'm ready to do that. I'll see you soon. 
Alright guys, we're back and I decided to just do the building without you guys uh, just because uh, it wasn't really that good of content. That's how far I've gotten so far. I'm going to go and make some more stuff but I, I reclaimed a ton of wood and a ton of thatch from uh, the bridge. Um, soon it'll be more than just a bridge. I'm wondering if I can even get rid of the, uh, the behemoth gate and push that to the other side. Um, that'll be decisions we'll have to make. Um, and just run fences up to this. So I'm thinking my product, my end product building will probably come out to about, like say here. So it's probably going to be a fair bit of work. There's going to be more stone that's going to have to be collected. Uh, I'll keep working on that. And I'll bring you back after I've gotten that far. Alright guys, I'll see you soon. And we're back guys, and guess what? I've been a busy little fish. Check this out. Ooh, level. What should we pump? Yeah, wait. Probably should make this a guy's speed guy, but whatever. That's the bridge now. So it was nothing. It was just like a bit of stone, but I put some walls up. I put behemoth gates on the other side. Um, I have big plans for this, so I'll just jump down here and I'll tell you about it. So I'm thinking about putting uh, some ceilings along the side here. And I'll just put dinos on different levels. So I'll just have a little ramp, maybe, that starts about here and just goes up. Um, I also have a plan that I'll open up one of these sides with a behemoth gate. Maybe if I... I might even just extend this, I don't know. Uh, and put my water dinos in there. How good would that be? Or even my Sarko can just go out that little opening there. It's going to be so great. So I'll bring them in. Uh, that way I can have my, Omni, uh, my Oviraptor... I can sort of just drop him down into the middle here and he'll affect everyone except the damn scorpions. For some reason, he doesn't affect scorpions. But that's all right. That's his prerogative, I suppose. It will also take this wall all the way to the top. And I did count it out and it's going to cost like, I don't know, 12 levels or something of the stone wall. So I really just don't have that at the moment. Uh, so I won't be doing that for a little while. it's I can have it as an open design for the moment. There's nothing that flies around that's going to hurt them for the moment. So once I've got those stone ceilings in, I can start bringing my dinos in like I'm Noah from Noah's Ark. And they can just hang out in here and every now and then I come and check on them and come and get those sweet, sweet eggs. Um, it's going to be a struggle for the dinos I can't ride, but uh, I think it'll be alright. I don't really care too much about the dodos, so I might just put them in a corner, like over here maybe. Uh, and they can just hang out here and I'll collect their eggs when I can be bothered. But I've got about 200 dodo eggs at the moment, so I'm not really too fussed about that. And I can make as much kibble as I need. Uh, but, that's that. I'm really excited. I'm really excited to get this little breeding... Oh, you know what I didn't do? Didn't do the light shaft. Didn't do shadow quality. So if you've been watching my videos for a while, hopefully you've picked up on those commands by now. You can pause the video and check it out. So that shouldn't be too much of a drummer. But yeah, that's that's that. That's exciting. It's super exciting. Uh, I also have one more bit of good news before I finish up. Level 53. All this building has taken me from what? Did I start at like 49 or something? Maybe 50. But I don't think I was even 50 when I started this episode. And now I'm 53, almost 54, if you have a look at the side here. Uh, not that far away at all, so making the ceilings will probably get me to 54. And then I just need to punch through, because at 55 I can do two things. One, the RG becomes rideable. So long as I can get the materials to build the saddle, which I might not be able to get uh, that easily. But I'll, I'll go out and I will persevere, and I'll make sure I get it. Uh, the other thing I can ride... This Chipper here, and uh, as useful as Chipper is, he's really, really, she is really, really annoying uh, because I can't ride her, so I've just sort of got to bring her up to the trees and then turn her off follow and she bites them and then I'll take her to the next tree. And it's pretty time consuming. If I just rode Chipper, I could just bite, 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 and it, it wouldn't even stop. I'd have so much wood I wouldn't even know what to do with it. I might even need to get some more storage boxes inside my base. So this will be my little, this will be my little uh, living place, and that'll be my little storage uh, for dinos. Really, really excited, guys. Um, I really think this base is coming along. 
Um, I really hope you've enjoyed Minecraft, because it's been really, really fun building for you. <laughs> no. Um, it's not Minecraft. I sort of treat it like that way sometimes, but um, there's a lot of space in here. There's a lot of space in here, and I'm really, really excited to... I might even make it a bit bigger. Not right now, though. Um, I've, it's pretty much taken me, like, half the weekend to get to this stage, but um, I'm super excited to make it work. All right, guys, that's me done uh, for this episode. It's a bit of a shorter one. Oh, yeah, it's a little bit shorter. I've been, I've been punching them out close to 15 minutes lately. Uh, but I will leave it there. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode, if you enjoyed my building, uh, if you're really looking forward to me having uh, my dinos in this little egg pen here that I can just collect the eggs a lot easier, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help the channel. Um, if you enjoy this content, if you enjoy the Wolf Among Us that I've been putting out, uh, and I've been really enjoying that, it's uh, it's really coming along with some some of the storyline, and I'm it's really starting to expand itself. So I'm I'm really excited to continue that. Uh, if you like the transistor stuff, uh, not as super psyched about that. I I think I'm just I, I'm not understanding the story. I might have to go and, and read a little bit of a uh, an idiot's guide to it so that I can sort of understand it because I I'm feeling like an idiot when I'm playing it at the moment because I'm like oh yeah this happened and that happened and I'm like how does this all work? I don't really get everything that's going on with it. But anyway, that doesn't matter. Uh, but if you like that kind of content, please consider subscribing. Uh, if you do subscribe to the channel, not only does it help me out a lot, uh, but it also means that my videos will go into your YouTube mailbox every single day. And you won't even have to come to the channel to look for it, because it'll just come to you instead. That's, that's service. Alright guys, thanks for joining me. I've been Fish, this has been Ark, Survival Evolved Single Player, and I'll catch you next time.